from in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show. It's not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. I'm looking at an email here. I don't even think I should respond to it. I don't even think I should answer to this guy. I sent him an email and I told him to call me. But I'm not sure even if he called me if I would answer his questions. And the reason is because this is somebody who's been paying absolutely no attention to anything I say on this program. And I have a very hard time feeling empathy for people who listen to this program. Then go against everything I teach them. Then ask for advice. I mean, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the fact that this kid uh, did absolutely nothing I told him to do. Paid absolutely no attention to what I say on this show. And now he's getting what's coming to him. He's getting what he deserves. And I love it. Are you kidding me? This is spectacular. I hope life continues to punch you in the gut. I'm actually hoping that things won't get any better. And I don't think they're going to. Not at the rate he's going. I think he's driving right into that wall. You know that wall I always talk about. That's right. The wall where you put your foot on the gas and you would pay no attention to the fact that you're about to have a head-on collision. That's the wall he's driving into right now. I mean, why should I even help somebody like that? Allow me to uh, read you this email. By the way, don't laugh too hard. You might crash your car as well. I mean, see if you can count the mistakes this kid made. All mistakes he could have avoided had he paid even a lick of attention to what I say on this program. I, I, In fact, it contains so many of them that when I first read this, I thought to myself, this is a joke. This guy wrote this just to hear me react. He couldn't possibly have done this many things. So here it is. This is from Ross, and Ross uh, goes to the University of Nevada. He writes it, it says, Tom, I need help. By the way, Ross is attending the University of Nevada. Punctuation, even a modicum of it, just not important to him if he even understands how to punctuate. Tom, no comma, I need help, no period, no capital. Here is my situation, period. I am 20 years old. Grammar, not an issue for him either. I am 20 years old and me and my girlfriend have moved in together. Are you counting the errors? I think moving in with, I think he meant to say her, but it says here. I think moving in with here 
was one of the best choices I have ever made since I had no freedom when I was living with my parents. Couldn't live on your own, though, huh, son? Couldn't find a roommate? Yeah. Oh, no, this gets much better. The problem is that my girlfriend and I don't, there's no apostrophe in don't, don't have sex anymore. Because she says she wants to save that part of our relationship until after marriage. I asked you to count these. Now don't, again, the apostrophe missing. Now don't think we haven't had sex before. No apostrophe and haven't either. This key must not be working on his keyboard. I don't think we haven't had sex before, comma, we actually have a baby boy together, and she is actually already pregnant again. Since, you know, you, you're not going to believe how many mistakes this kid makes. Since she became pregnant again, I decided it would be best for me to drop out of college and work full time. So what are you, a artist, an architect? A, you're making one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year selling real estate. What are you doing? Oh no. I was hired as a manager at a fast food joint, and I make really good money. It's probably up to eight fifty an hour now. I love my girlfriend, but I have always had problems not cheating on her. <laughs> and this became a real problem when I slept with one of my girlfriend's friends. No apostrophe in girlfriends. By the way, isn't this why I always tell you that at age 20 you're too young to have a girlfriend? Because you still want to bang everything that moves. But you did it anyway. Says here, her friend eventually became pregnant. This is the girlfriend's friend. Got pregnant by this kid. And had an abortion against my beliefs. Well, if you believe in fornication, why would you not believe in abortion? Son. And I feel very guilty about losing, it actually says loosing, two O's, loosing this child. <laughs> the guilt is unbelievable, and I can't stand it at times. That's right, no apostrophe, can't. I also am having a hard time supporting all of us because my girlfriend has a baby from her old boyfriend... <laughs> And also, her 28-year-old brother is living with us and is unable to pay for rent. I work nearly 12 hours a day, and I think it is breaking us apart. But By the way, we're not done. My girlfriend recently made a MySpace page. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I can't believe... How many rules he's broken. How many things I've said on the air. And he went and did the opposite. My girlfriend recently made a MySpace page and has been on it nonstop. One day she left it open. I looked through her messages to find out that she is chatting with over eight guys. Chatting. C-H-A-T-I-N-J. By the way, Ross, if you dropped out of college, how are you getting to use the University of Nevada's email system? Just curious. You'd think your email would be coming from, you know, TacoBell.com or JackInTheBox.com. Yes, Ross goes on to say, I am not sure what to think about it because I know she loves me more than anything. Then, T-H-E-N, anything. And would never cheat. Uh, 
But sometimes I think she is because she gets so defensive if I look over her shoulder while she is on MySpace or typing the many constant text messages to people while we are hanging out. Now, now this this next sentence, as unbelievable as all that is, this next sentence is the most unbelievable at all. I try to follow all of your rules. <laughs> but they don't seem to have worked for me, and I am not sure why. Ross, please, if you're out there, call me immediately and tell me which rules you've been following. Because so far, it doesn't look like you've followed any of my rules at all. At all. What do I tell you about dating single mothers? Don't do it. What do I tell you about moving in with your girlfriend? Don't do it. What do I tell you about having a girlfriend under age 25? Don't do it. What do I tell you to do when your girlfriend stops putting out? Dump her. Did you do it? No. Having babies? No. Having a second baby? Beyond stupid. Dropping out of college? That's what happens when you act like a little boy. Thinking you're making really good money at a fast food joint? Priceless, yes. <laughs> Saying you love your girlfriend, you're insane, okay? Screwing somebody else while you're in a relationship? You know, as much as I'm a partier, much as I'm not a prude, I say if you're going to be in a relationship, it should be to be monogamous. Otherwise, why do it? Stupid. Knocking up the friend of your girlfriend. Stupid. By the way, that time bomb is eventually going to come out of it hasn't already. Jesus. The brother moving in, I never even made a rule about that, but um, no family members living in your place. I, that, that would go without saying if she wasn't living in your place. Unbelievable. Telling me you make really good money and then saying you work nearly 12 hours a day. You know what? I make really good money and I do not work 12 hours a day. Okay, that's the difference between me and you. If I was making really good money, the last thing I'd do is work 12 hours a day. Okay. If your girlfriend is a MySpace page, <laughs> you're still there. Being stupid enough to believe that she would never cheat on you. Meanwhile, she is guarding her MySpace and her uh, text messages with her life. You are a little boy, aren't you? Holy cow. Well, we haven't gotten to the end of this email, by the way. There's still a three wonderful lines left, and it just goes on and on. My girlfriend is really pressuring me to get married now. And I think I am finally going to give in and ask her. Tom, do you think that is a bad idea? Have you ever even heard this show? Have you ever even heard this show? You're kidding me, right? Then he says, and that's why I think this has got to be a joke. Also, do you think my situation is a bad situation? Or am I just overreacting to separate words? And this is actually the best thing for me. I mean, you've heard this email. Should I even bother to respond to one word this kid said? For, for God's sake... <laughs> Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. I'm so sick of these girly boys out there. Stop it. Be a goddamn man. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. All right, you heard Ross's email. Should I even respond to it? Al, on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Al. Tom, I yes. swear, listening to that story, I wanted to rip out my whole surround sound system and chuck it out the window. <laughs> the longer that story went on, I swear, I was looking for my ice pick. I wanted to take my eardrums out. 
that guy, I mean, what a pathetic, oh, oh, sorry excuse for a loser. He's not even a loser. And if you talk to this kid and he refers to you as, hey, Tom, my dad, I swear, I'm jumping out the window with that home surround sound system. The worst, the worst part of it is when he says the one sentence, I try to follow all of your rules, but they don't seem to have worked for me, and I am not sure why. He must be listening to another Tom like this if there's one out there. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine there is, but he must be. Oh, my goodness. Tom, get a hold of this kid. Rake him over the coals. And like I said, if he calls you dad, my goodness. Um, I, I know it's tasteless. But take me out Lacey Peterson style. Oh, that is tasteless. What am I going to do? Amber. Hey. Amber. Amber, Mitch, you have to be 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Jody on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great, Jody. Okay, so we were listening, my boyfriend and I were listening to this email that you were reading, and we think it's absolutely ridiculous, and we just wanted to share our situation, because we try to follow what you say, because we agree with what you say. My boyfriend's 27, and I'm 24, and we don't live together. I'm in school, getting a master's degree in psychology, and he's an artist. No plans for children or getting married, and we're perfectly happy with what we've got. That's good. Yeah, Except you are kid. too young to be in a relationship. Exactly. This kid's 20 years old. Yes, he's 20 years old, but I see on the screen you're 24. Yeah, I'm 24. Yeah, you're too young to be in a relationship yourself. By one year? Too young. Oh, all right. I see. Well, I'm going to be 25 this year. Well, I tell you what, on your 25th birthday, start looking for a relationship. <laughs> All right, Tom. Thank you. All right, Tom. All right. Can I get uh, taken out Kobe style? You can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Alfred, on, on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Alfred. Hello, Tom. Hello, Alfred. You heard this email. Should I even bother responding to this guy? Hell no. He should, if it's real, he should just shoot himself. This guy <laughs> has nothing going for him. He is a complete loser, and it's a disgrace to all of Tom Likas fans out there to call you father. Well, I agree with that. He has no business uh, even writing to you, breathing the same air as you. Living in the That's same right. Planet as in you. fact, he has no right to breathe any air. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Tom. This guy is a complete moron. Um, he broke all your rules. There's no reason for him to keep going in life. He's done. He, all, if he, When he breaks up with this... Uh, I don't want to say it, but uh, when he b breaks up with her, all his money, all his eight fifty dollar an hour job is going to go to those kids. That's exactly done. right. And she'll be he on MySpace done. cruising for the next guy. Yes, Tom. And uh, I'm a, a full-fledged follower of uh, the Tom Likas 101. How's and... that working out for you? Oh, I get more ass than a toilet seat on a donkey farm. Wow. That's it, Tom. Uh, I get I get it all. I follow you. You are the greatest. Um, I just can't believe this. It's mind-blowing, Tom. It's mind-blowing. It is indeed, Alfred. Thank you so much for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Rick. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing this afternoon? Doing great. Hey, Tommy. I just, uh, I think it's a smoke screen here, this whole letter thing. I think, uh, however, as I told your uh, screener guys, you know, 
there's a hell of a lot of Rosses in this world, and I think it should be answered just for those uh, guys out there like my son and a few other people that I know that, you know, they're living the Ross life. You know, they think they got it right, but they got it wrong. You know, even though it's wrong, I think you ought to respond to it for us, big buddy. Well, again, I, I get frustrated. You know, if the guy said, I've never heard your show before, and then he wrote in with his problems, that would be one thing. But to say all that, and then to say that he's been trying to follow all of my rules, but they don't seem to have worked. <laughs> I can't see one rule he has followed. Not even one. Well, you know, I think whoever wrote this, you know, I think was a genius. Maybe it's you, but uh, I think it's... Uh, no, think it's, it's Ross, it's uh, Ross uh, who but... has a student email address at the University of Nevada. Well... Ross is excellent. I think Ross is one of our smarter people. He's probably going to do well in industry. I think Ross, Ross is real good at the smoke screens. I think this is bull. All right. Well, you might be right. I don't know. Eddie, hello. Yeah. How you doing, Tom? All right, Eddie. It's a fake, 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 man. You know, I think a third grader can write a better letter than uh, a better email than what he wrote. You know, you really got to try hard to have so many uh, grammatical errors in a letter. Number one. Number two. It's, no, I no, can't... no. That now that I have to correct you on because I read the email all the time. The level of education of many of the people who write in is way lower than the the level of education of the average listener. It's, it's amazing, especially you know so many errors and and see he's making so many mistakes and all these kids that we're all going to support for him. It, it, it's just unbelievable. So I, I really think it's a fake. I think he just wanted to. Get his letter on the well, air. Well, the only way the only way I'm going to respond to this letter is if he calls in and I have a way to bust him. And so right. far, we haven't heard from him. Yeah. All right, Tom. Take care. Take me out, Kobe star, buddy. All right, Eddie. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Robin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Long Hi, Robin. Time, first time. Long time doing? listener, first time caller. I had to call today, Tom. That guy is completely stupid. Has he lost his mind? You know, listen to him all the time, and I don't always agree with everything you say because I'm a chick, you know. But I have an 18-year-old son, I have a 23-year-old son, and I always tell him, has Tom not taught you anything? Tell that guy to dump that bra, okay? Oh, I'm saying, well. I'm saying that nicely. Tell him to shake her. Obviously, his morals and his values ain't high up there, or like you said, he wouldn't have been cheating with the girlfriend. And right. Have you ever heard of condoms? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> they're, they're called Trojans for a reason. Okay. Keep, by the way, keep in mind, he didn't just knock up his girlfriend twice. He knocked up her girlfriend's friend. Oh, I know. He's an idiot. He is a complete idiot. Trust me. I'm telling you, I, there, there's a lot of stuff that you say that I agree with all the time. A, a male friend of mine turned me on to you one time. And I, I'm telling you, I, whenever I have my 18-year-old son in the car and, and your radio station or your program is on, I always, like, crank up the volume. And he just sits back here and he shakes his head. He's like, Mom, I can't believe you got me listening to Tom. I'm like, listen to him. He's telling you the truth. You don't need a wife. You don't need a long-time girlfriend. You really don't want to move in with the bride if you're just getting out on your own. You know, and it's called condoms, 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 condoms. I tell my son all the time, if you don't have any money to buy you any, I will buy them. And if you're too embarrassed to ask me, they got clinics all across L.A. Give them to you for free. They don't even ask any questions. And I'm By the way, there are websites that you can order, the, you can order them uh, over the Internet. You don't even have to uh, ask for them. Oh, I know. And I, you know, I've even my little brother. I try to tell him to listen to you because he's another idiot, you know. Because it's not just really, Tom. Seriously, on a serious tip, it's not even about babies anymore. It's about diseases that you can't cure, can't get rid of, and will kill you. You you have to be careful. You have to be worried about your life. Right. And I my kids the time. You know, I made a mistake. I should have went to college first. You know, I'm out swimming like a dog every day trying to make a living and keep everything floating. And it's crazy. Go to school. Go to school. Get you an education. Establish yourself. And then later, when you like, in your 40s, if you want to, you know, get settled or, 
you know, have a kid, do it then, but don't do it now. Enjoy your youth. He is an idiot. He is an idiot, Tom, and, and there's no way possible this guy can say that he has been listening to your radio station, your program, because he just broke every rule in Tom's body. Yes, and he claims to be following my rules. It's outrageous. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I was in the shower, and I got out of the shower, and my wife was checking my cell phone. And I swear to God, for like the last week, every day I get home, she's like, what, what number was this? What number was that? Who is this? Who is that? She's like, who is, who is Kim? I feel like telling her, hey, bitch, Kim's the girl I'm banging behind your back. It's the Tom Likas Show. Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. I'll briefly read you the letter we're talking about in case you're just tuning in. It's remarkable, really remarkable. I am 20 years old, and me and my girlfriend have moved in together. I think moving in here, sorry, moving in with her, and he spelled it here, H-E-R-E, was one of the best choices I have ever made since I had no freedom when I was living with my parents. The problem is that my girlfriend and I don't have sex anymore because she says she wants to save that part of our relationship until after marriage. Now, don't think we haven't had sex before. We actually have a baby boy together, and she is actually already pregnant again. Actually. The word actually used in a sentence more than any time in human history. Since she became pregnant again, I decided it would be best for me to drop out of college and work full time. I was hired as a manager at a fast food joint, and I make really good money. I love my girlfriend, but I have always had problems not cheating on her. And this became a real problem when I slept with one of my girlfriend's friends. Her friend eventually became pregnant and had an abortion against my beliefs, and I feel very guilty about losing that child. The guilt is unbelievable, and I can't stand it at times. I also am having a hard time supporting all of us because my girlfriend has a baby from her old boyfriend, and also her 28-year-old brother is living with us and is unable to pay for rent. I work nearly 12 hours a day, and I think it is breaking us apart. My girlfriend recently made a MySpace page and has been on it nonstop. One day she left it open. I looked through her messages to find out she's chatting with over eight guys. Would that be nine guys? I am not sure what to think because I know she loves me more than anything and would never cheat. But sometimes I think she is because she gets so defensive if I look over her shoulder while she is on MySpace or typing the many constant text messages to people while we are hanging out. I try to follow all of your rules, but they don't seem to have worked for me, and I am not sure why. My girlfriend is really pressuring me to get married now, and I think I am finally go going to give in and ask her. Do you think this is a bad idea, Tom? Also, do you think my situation is a bad situation? Or am I just overreacting, and this is actually the best thing for me? It's from Ross. I mean, should I even bother to help somebody like that? Seriously speaking. It's outrageous. Our telephone number here is 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. Jesus. I mean, I'm just blown away by this letter. Let's say hello here to Jose on the Tom Likas show. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? All right. What's up, Tom? Not much. Hey, I have a comment about that guy that wrote, you know, dude is an idiot, man. If this is true, I don't, I don't, which I don't think it's true because it sounds like the dude is messing up on all points, man. I mean, you got, you got, first of all, you got a girlfriend, you got her pregnant, and you're taking care of another dude's kid, dude, which is not right at all. No, it's not. 
I haven't I haven't listened to you for like that long, which is like two weeks. But I mean, this dude says that he's listened to you and he's tried to take your advice. <laughs> dude is lying, dude. This is somebody from some you know from Nevada that is messing around, dude. And it's funny because he's probably doing it just to get all these people that are listening mad. So he's he's doing you know he's accomplishing what he what he wants to do. <laughs> well, he may very well be doing that. But I thought I'd, uh, I thought I would let you hear it, and you could judge for yourself. For God's sake, uh, thank you, Jose, for that. I have an email here from a listener named Matt. He writes in and says, "Hey Tom, here is the simple solution for Ross. One, it's in bullet points. One, continue to work hard at fast food job. Two, save enough money to buy gun. Three, shoot self." Hope this helps. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Eddie, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Eddie. You have to respond. I, I, I'm of the thought that it's probably fake because I can't fathom that somebody is that stupid. But in the off chance that it is, view it as charity work. I know it's an insult to you. Because you've been preaching this stuff, and this guy clearly didn't get it. But if it happens to be real, you got. But he you didn't get him. anything. He didn't, anything. He, and not only did he, he, but he's clearly stupid. He can't formulate a cohesive sentence. He doesn't know how to write. He doesn't know basic grammar or basic spelling, or, or it appears basic English. Not to mention common sense. <laughs> you know. And, and, and the other thing I want to say is, I got to thank you because you totally saved my tail. Uh, recently with a relationship I was in, but that's, that's another subject. Um, but I wanted to thank you for saving my, my tail, and I got out of a bad one. Well, I'm glad I did. You did. I, I, I followed your advice, and, uh, and uh, it, it, it was, it was I, I, I got out, let me put it that way. And uh, her, one of her parting words were something along the lines of, well, if you really wanted to be with me and travel, you could have sold your house, moved into a rental, and you'd have plenty of money to go travel. Oh, with yes. Oh, yes, yes. I got the you could have sold your house line several times. Oh, you have? Okay. Yes. I, that was a new one for me. I, I want to tell you. I want to tell you. I want to tell you. Here's the last time I heard it. I'm going to tell you exactly how it was phrased. I want you to get this, okay? Okay. Here it is. You... I want to get this exactly right because I don't want her calling me and telling me that I screwed it up. <laughs> I want to get this right. Um, you just decided that you love your house more than you love me. Wow. That's what she said. Wow. No, mine actually said the words. If, if, if this relationship was important, you could have sold your house so that you'd have money and gotten a rental, and yes. then you'd have money and you could travel with me now. Because she didn't want to wait a year until a couple of financial deals I have going would, would, would straighten out, and then I'd be able to afford right. to travel. No, I was with somebody who knew me, who met me, years after I bought my house. Uh -huh. And I love, I love my house to death. And lived in it with me. And then when the relationship didn't work out, she told me that I love my house more than her. Oh, God. And the reason she said it was because I wouldn't sell it. She said after years of living in my house, she said, you know what? I never liked your house. Never liked it. Wow. But she liked living there for free, I bet. Oh, of course. Love that. Yeah, that part was okay. It's funny how that works out. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, you got, getting back to this guy, you got you to see if you can get him on the air because this is priceless. It's pretty outrageous. It, it's completely outrageous. And like I said, I, I suspect it may have been a college kid screwing around, and it's a joke. But but if it's not, and you can get a hold of this guy and put him on the air, you've got to put him on the air because that's well, going to make for great radio. I will only put a, I will only help him if he goes on the air because that's the only way we're going to be able to bust him. Absolutely. All right, Tom, thanks. Will you, can, you, uh, can you blow me up and take me out? Yes, I can. Here you go. Tom is our telephone number. Christopher on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much. Hey, I, I Tom, I'm I'm a little bit bummed, brother, because I I think it's kind of obvious that you, you assuming he's genuine, you gotta help him. 
you got to help him. You know, the, look at no, letter, I've man. tried to help him. He said he's following all my rules. Oh, but, you know... He's not following any of my rules. But he must not. He, okay, then he maybe doesn't get it or something. But you got to help him. you gotta do, You got to do everything you can. Because he's, you know, the, the sad truth is, is he's, he's probably hosed anyway, like in life. And if, but if you help him, at least you're not as useless as his parents. Well, he needs to, uh, uh, put, it, put it this way, he has to get his ass on the telephone and call me if he wants any help. Because right now, I think the guy's a phony. And if he is not a phony and he truly is this stupid, I, wanna, I want him front and center. I want to talk to him. And I want to sp I want to find out just how stupid he really is. Did he really, really not follow any of my rules? But and you know, believe he did. He, Tom, he might not be. He might not be totally stupid. He might just not have. You know, he might have absentee parents that are just neglectful and lame, and and weak, and they just you know are lame. They you know what I'm saying? They're just I don't know. They're clueless and they don't get it, and he doesn't get it, and. You know, he might he might have a chance, like if you call and and maybe make a genuine attempt and tell him to get out of that apartment and tell him to well, you know I don't have a I don't have his phone number and he can make the effort. If he really needs help, he can call me for help. But I am certainly not going to be going on the air trying to help somebody who has so totally ignored everything I've had to say to the point where I think the guy's a fake. Sonia on the Tom Like It show. Hello, Sonia. Hi, Tom. Yes. You know what? It's a true story, and you know why? Because I left my baby's daddy because he wouldn't work, and his he got a new baby's mama now. He got another kid, and his baby's mama supports him. She works. He don't work. And he actually also gives money to him for my little girl. And so what is your point? That it's a true story, and you shouldn't help him, because he's yeah. a dumbass. By the way, why did you have a baby with a, with a slug? I had a baby. With, when I was preg when I got pregnant, he wasn't this way. He used to have two jobs. Yes, we were yes, both he was. working. But she did me a favor. How, how old are you? You wouldn't believe me. <laughs> how old are you? I'm 23. What are you doing having babies with someone you're not married? Why are you doing that? I was young. I was 16 when I got pregnant. Stupid. Very stupid. I was 16. And he's 27. And he has... By the way, shouldn't you be... If you, look, if you're going to get knocked up, but you want to get knocked up by a guy with a college degree... Exactly. Now I know. Now I Ugh. listen to you. Good. And I'm not going to stop listening to you now. I'm glad to now hear that. I'm single, loving it. Taking care of my daughter. Can and you know how to use birth control now? Yes, birth control and condoms. Good. And if they was to be up to me, I wouldn't even be sexually active. <laughs> what do you mean? If it's up to you, are you being raped? No, but I mean, you know, if the needs wouldn't to be there. Oh, if you don't didn't need. Well, that's the reason people have sex because there's a need. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, Tom, you shouldn't just help. Leave that moron. Leave yeah, I'm. Phone. I'm not going to. Can you blow me up, Tom? Of course I can. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Here comes Todd on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, big old daddy. Love you. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Hey, I want to take both sides on this because you asked the question, should you help him? Right. You know, I, I, I would hope that you make an example of this guy for all of your listeners. They need to learn whether this guy's real or not. They need to learn what really needs to happen in this kind of scenario because there's probably too many of these dumb people out there in the world. And uh, the other part is if this guy, if uh, I think you should not help him because this guy can't even doesn't even have basic instincts. I mean, if you're drowning, you at least flap your arms. This guy, he's got somebody living in his house that doesn't pay rent. Basically. Oh, he's got more than one person living in the house that doesn't pay rent, for God's sake. The Tom Likas Show.